हेलो व्यूअर्स इन टूडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस येट अनदर इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड कॉन्सेप्चुअल डेफिनेट इंटीग्रल इन्वॉल्विंग फ्रैक्शनल पार्ट फंक्शन राइट सो हियर वी आर गिवन दिस प्रॉब्लम एंड द इंटीग्रल फ्रॉम माइनस टू टू जीरो एंड फ्रैक्शनल पार्ट ऑफ थ्री एक्स प्लस फाइव डी एक्स इज इक्वल टू लॉग ऑफ पाई लेमडा टू द बेस ई right and here uh, we have to find the value of lambda so here uh, we have to find the value of uh, lambda and lambda is some real number and uh, uh, in order to find out uh, this value of uh, lambda we have to first calculate the value of uh, this integral right so let us call this integral as i and i is uh, uh, minus 2 to 0 and this is fractional part of 3x plus 5 dx right so viewers uh, in order to uh, solve this integral i uh, will make use of the method of substitution right and here a lot of concepts will be used in order to find out the value of this integral and uh, here uh, the periodicity of the fractional part function will also be used right so we'll see in our later steps how we can uh, use the uh, the periodicity of this function that is a uh, fractional part function right so uh, let us first quickly see the definition of fractional part function the fractional part of x is defined as x minus greatest integer of x right so this is the definition of fractional part function and the domain of the fractional part function is given by the set of uh, real numbers and the range is uh, given by uh, this interval that is uh, uh, 0 to 1 right so now uh, let us uh, come to this integral and uh, let us first take y is equal to 3x plus 5 right so y is 3x plus 5 So therefore, uh, dy over dx is equal to three, right? And uh, dy over three is equal to dx. So now for uh, dx, we have dy over three, and see here uh, x varies from uh, minus two to zero, uh, right? So let us uh, uh, change the limits accordingly. So we have. Uh, Uh, y is equal to three uh, times minus two plus five when x is minus two, so this is minus six plus five, that is minus one. And here y is uh, uh, equal to three uh, times zero plus five, and here we have zero plus five, that is five, right? So when x varies from minus two to zero, uh, then y varies from minus one to five. so now this uh, integral i in terms of y uh, can be written as i is equal to minus 1 to 5 and uh, for the fractional part of 3x plus 5 uh, we can write the fractional part of y and for dx we can write dy over 3 right so now we can take uh, uh, this 3 outside the integral so we have 1 over 3 Minus one to five and the fractional part of y and dy, right? Okay. So now, viewers, uh, here uh, we have to integrate uh, this, or we have to find the value of this integral. And at this step, we have to make use of one important uh, property of definite integral. Now uh, we know that uh, from the properties of fractional part function. that the period of uh, the fractional part function uh, that is fractional part of x is equal to 1 right so the period of uh, uh, fractional part of x is equal to 1 and if we denote the period by t then t is equal to 1 right so this is the first thing which we are going to use here and the second thing is that uh, we have a very important property Uh, related to the periodic functions that is uh, the integral of some periodic function f of x 
dx that is if the period of this function f of x is t then the integral nt to mt right where n and m are uh, integers right okay so the integral uh, that is nt to mt of f of x is equal to m minus n times the integral from 0 to t f of x dx right so this is a very important property uh, related to uh, the integrals of uh, periodic function right so here f of x is a periodic function with period t and n and m are some integers right okay so now we'll make use of this result as well as this result to evaluate uh, this integral right now we can write uh, this integral as 1 over 3 and here we have minus 1 so we can write it as minus 1 times 1 right see uh, we have minus 1 so minus 1 can be written as minus 1 times 1 and 5 can be uh, written as 5 times 1 right so that this one and this one is the period of uh, uh, this fractional part function right so this is t this is also t and this minus 1 is the value of n and this 5 is the value of m right so n is minus 1 and m is 5 and the period of this fractional part function is 1 right so here we have the uh, fractional part of uh, y and here we have dy right so now uh, by using this result we can write uh, this integral as uh, m minus n right so m is 5 that is m minus n is 5 minus minus 1 so this is uh, 5 plus 1 that is 6 right so we have m minus n and 0 to t f of x which is uh, the fractional part of y and here we have dy right so this is 1 over 3 and the value of m minus n is 6 and we have 0 to 1 because t is 1 and here we have fractional part of y dy right and this is 3 to the 6 so we have 2 times 0 to 1 fractional part of y dy right okay so viewers uh, we have now i is uh, equal to uh, 2 times the integral of 0 to 1 and fractional part of y dy right so now uh, for the fractional part of y we'll make use of uh, uh, this definition right so if we replace uh, this uh, uh, fractional part of y uh, by um, y minus y minus greatest integer of y and here we have dy right okay so now we have uh, here we can write it as uh, uh, 2 times integral 0 to 1 y minus greatest integer of y dy so now this integral can be written as 2 times 0 to 1 y dy minus 2 times uh, integral 0 to 1 and greatest integer of y dy right okay so now here we have 2 times the integral of y is uh, y square over 2 and here we have 0 to 1 and minus 2 times uh, 0 right because the value of this integral is 0 why because see here uh, y varies from 0 to 1 right so when y varies from 0 to 1 then by the definition of greatest integer function the value of greatest integer of y is always 0 right so when y lies between 0 and 1 then the value of greatest integer of y is equal to 0 so therefore this integral disappears here and uh, this term is 0 
so here at this 2 and this 2 get cancelled so we are left with y square limits are from 0 to 1 and we have 1 square minus 0 square that is 1 minus 0 that is equal to 1 right so viewers the value of uh, this integral is uh, equal to 1 so we have obtained uh, the value of uh, this integral as 1 so i is equal to 1 right but in the given problem uh, we are given the value of uh, this integral as uh, log of uh, pi lambda to the base e where e is the exponential number right so now uh, one can also be written as log of e to the base e right so this is equal to 1 and we have log of e to the base e is equal to log of uh, pi lambda to the base e right and now if we compare both these uh, expressions uh, we get e is equal to uh, pi lambda right and lambda is equal to e over pi right so viewers the value of uh, lambda in this case is equal to e over pi so this is how we solve this uh, uh, important and conceptual problem from definite integrals involving fractional part function